into the ring. Welcome to Post Orange versus, I think, Hewson University. I'm Frisco, and we're getting right into it. So it looks like right off the bat, we're getting, uh, uh, I think Sa is up right now. Yeah, Sa is up right now. Versus, uh, Bowser. Now, <laughs> Bowser is considered, like, a generally a high-tier character in this game. Bowser has a lot of range really quick. Whereas Kirby does not have a lot of range. Uh, big body versus really small body. You do not want to be at a percentage deficit against Bowser as Kirby. Uh, Bowser's just going to do a lot to get you off stage a lot sooner. Get those earlier kills. But one benefit Kirby is going to have is a lot of these strings that's being demonstrated by Saw right now. Ooh, reading the air dodge. That was so close. That, that would not have killed, but it would have been a big damage. Uh, and you cannot wrap a jab against Bowser. Bowser has he what we call Tough Guy, which is a, a default armor that can kind of go through a lot of weak hits. It's very useful in some situations. Really good down smash, but sending Bowser right back off stage. I like the ba I like the dash back coming out from Saw right now. You do not, and especially in this situation, you do not want to land on Bowser as Kirby. You really don't, because Bowser will do something out of shield. Uh, and just either act up more damage or get the kill. I liked the idea of that down B, to be honest. It was, um, it, it did not come out, but it was a little too late, but I actually like the idea of the mix-up, trying to catch, like, a roll in and whatnot. But that is, that stock is going to get taken off of Sock. Uh, dash check, which dash check isn't going to work out. Uh, now here's the thing, if you try to land on top of Bowser, a lot of these up tilts are going to just kind of come out. You generally, as Kirby, do want to engage Bowser in a more horizontal fashion uh, and try and combo him. And that's gonna, no, that's gonna, not gonna be quite enough to kill. Bowser's a big boy. Intercept the trade. Not gonna be worth it for Saw to get that trade. Uh, Saw's gonna have to do a lot to kind of finish off uh, Bowser right now and keep the, the, the damage percentage a little bit more manageable. Do not do anything. Don't, don't do anything. Good, good, good. Back air. Up air is not gonna be strong enough. You, in order to solidify this kill, you should be doing like back air. F smash to punish the down B will do it, making the stocks even. But Kirby, right now, Saw needs to do, be very careful about how he approaches um, Bowser at this point. Because this stock is right for the taking. All Good DI, not quite enough to get it with that down air. You can inhale the fire, but it's not going to do a whole lot. Good shield. Uh, I would have punished with a grab there. You would have been able to get a lot more going. Especially down through a fair. Yeah, that's not gonna be, ooh, that was should have been a punish with, a, with the upbeat. But that stock is going to get taken. Putting post down to seven. Moves on down to eight. Flame Breath is going to do a lot against Kirby, too, because Kirby doesn't have many answers for Flame Breath. Generally, he needs, needs, either needs to back away or approach from the air somehow. And Kirby in the air is not a very uh, good approach option. Good cross up. I actually really like that cross up. But you need to pull up the shield a little bit longer. The dash attack. This is this is not out of the realm of possibility to take it for another stock to come out for Saw. 
I like how Saw is actually not landing directly onto Bowser because that's where Bowser is going to be a lot of um, in, at his strongest. If you do something unsafe on his shield, um, he's just going to punish you for it. There hasn't been too many uppies out of shield. Really good down B. Saw has been improving quite a bit, I will say, over these past few weeks. I like the cross-ups with Fair, too. Makes it a little harder for these punishes to for Bowser to get connected on. Yep. I do like how Saw will go above and then just kind of keep going. Sometimes you're better off resetting what we call neutral completely, where you just kind of wait for another opportunity to get in. Nice fair. Going for the fair strings, but that's going to get interrupted by uh, Bowser's f -tilt. Oh, that could have been a punish with back air. Landed back air. Really good fair to round it out. Again. No, Bowser's going to jump right over that. Oh, that's going to get punished. Ooh, didn't get punished. Really good down B on the side of the platform again. Uh, I'm gonna, gonna follow the first of the fair. F tilt is gonna send Kirby pretty far off stage. Another one of those at ledge is gonna kill Kirby. I wanna see a bit of. I wanna see this patience keep dust. A bit more patience coming out of Saw. Like, keep it going. Because Saw has been very patient a lot in a lot of these interactions. Really good fair. Ooh! Oh, that could have been a back throw. Get Bowser right back off stage. I would like to see a few more grabs coming out of Saw. Oh, the patience. See, people need to do this more. Just kind of walk back and forth and wait it out. You can tell that this Bowser player is very nervous about committing to anything. Really good grab coming out of that Miss Space uh, dash attack. Uh, sorry, um, F smash. Ooh, that... I'm going to be able to punish that. Oh, uh, that's going to be a punish with up B. Putting Kirby right back up stage. This is a really precarious position for Saw. This is really tough for Saw. Ne neither character wants to commit at all because they can easily get punished by the other. Really good neutral B. <laughs> I actually really like that neutral B. Though I will say, I don't know if it's worth it having Flame Breath against Bowser because I think he can tough guy through some of it. Oh, yeah, now I can punish that. Oh, my God, nobody wants to commit to... No! <laughs> he back aired the wrong way. Oh, that was so close. That was so cool. That was such a good match. Good stuff coming out from Saw. But that's going to put Post down to six and Houston down to seven. <coughs> wow. <laughs> I, I will say, Saw played that very well in, in a lot of ways. I really like, because there's a, there's a big habit, and I still do this to this day, where you always feel the need of trying to space aerials on somebody on their shield, which can be good, but sometimes a lot of aerials aren't safe by default. And Kirby's one of those characters, he doesn't have very safe aerials, generally. He has some, uh, but especially against Bowser, who has a really fast out-of-shield option, it, you're, you're tempted to try and space your aerials, but then you get punished no matter what you do. I really liked how Sa just opted for, I'm going to reset neutral. I don't care what Bowser's doing below me. I could potentially space him on shield and get a punish from there, but I know that Bowser is more than likely going to punish me, so instead I'm just going to move a little farther on, get to my stage control, and reset neutral, and try again at a later point. That's a very smart, smart, patient, and very hard thing to do in this game. It's having the mental fortitude to be like, I'm going to wait it out. That's a very tough thing to do, and a lot of players could learn from that, and I think Saw demonstrated that pretty appropriately with a lot of dashbacks, able to get a lot of punishes off of Bowser, playing it very well. Um, unfortunately, not able to get the third stock in the end, but a lot of good stuff coming out from Saw. Now, against Bowser, uh, we do have our ECAC stages. I always recommend do not bring Bowser to Battlefield because he really likes those top platforms. Um, Smashville... And uh, Hollow Bastion, I probably wouldn't bring him there either. Middle platforms are a big deal for Bowser and how he has, like, a lot of space to kind of land there in those side, that side B control. But you can also reason that if, you know, Bowser has a lot of mobility, depending on your character, if you want to brawl with Bowser one way or the other, which I generally would not recommend considering he has a command grab and really good boxing tools, but if you did want to brawl with him, it might be better off taking him to a smaller stage sometimes. But generally, uh... I would bring him to a bigger stage if you can. Don't bring him to Kalos, where he can kind of side B you off ledge. But sometimes it would be beneficial. Just generally don't bring him to a, to a tri-plat or some sort of platform that he can benefit off of. But here we're going to get Terry instead. Three, two, one, and I think go. this is Torero. I'm pretty sure this is Torero right now. Terry. I do actually like this matchup 
uh, in theory, for Terry. Because Terry is going to want to box. This is one of the characters I would bring uh, to this stage specifically. Terry can get a lot of, of, of stages like Hollow Bastion and whatnot. Um, you you do take a risk because you don't have like amazing aerials that are safe out of sh that are safe on Bowser's shield due to do his fast out of shield option. But you can box him decently well, and we're kind of seeing it right now where Terry does have bigger bigger range than Bowser in a, on a lot of things. But here's the other problem that's going to happen is recovering. Recovering as Terry against Bowser is going to be very tough. And you cannot jab through that. Bowser's tough guy coming out to sneak, sneak that stock in. When it comes to Bowser, you have to learn how to either gentleman jab or don't use your jabs at all. Jabs can be very tough against Bowser. Good up there to put Bowser in disadvantage. And these... And those situations are the situations that Terry does want Bowser to be in, is above him, because Terry can then catch either catch the landing for the damage, or he can do like catch it with like an up smash of some sort for an anti-air. Like the back away. Uh, f tilt is gonna send Terry right back off stage. Uh, I would have done back throw. Side B, gonna put Terry at 112, go meters online. That up smash out of shield. That could have been a punishment up smash out of shield. Good DI coming out of Terry right now. Terry is doing a little decent. Uh, F tilt's not going to be strong enough to get that stock out. I would like to see something like a back air from Terry. Back air is going to be super strong. Or, um, or side B. If you can kind of sneak in an anti air with a side B. Like jump side B, catch the jump. Really good power gazer to catch that. Uh, gonna keep the stock difference to one, putting post at five. And Usan at six. Now Bowser, as a character, does like to jump sometimes. He has a very, he actually does not have that bad of a jump. It's kind of funny. Uh, Bowser's a very mobile heavy. It's really interesting to see. But I would probably like to have seen some anti-airs coming out of Torero. Um, some raw back airs would have sealed out the kill in a pretty uh, convincing fashion. Because you, even though Terry does have auto turnaround, he can still raw. He can still do the reverse aerial. It's just, it's not that. It's actually not that hard either. You can still do it. Um, I, th I do think there might be a misconception sometimes that Terry can't, uh, but he definitely can. Ooh, duck hunt, <laughs> dunk hunt. All right. Duck Hunt as a character. Oh, God. Nobody plays Duck Hunt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Asthmatic? Duck Hunt as a character. <laughs> he, I actually do think Duck Hunt is very similar to Banjo in a lot of ways. Um, But not exactly. It's like not a one-to-one -one comparison, but you know, they both have their projectiles, they both build like a general wall, it's just they do it in very different ways. Uh, if you don't know the Duck Hunt matchup, which to be, I'm gonna be honest, I have barely played it because I'm pretty sure I've played that matchup the least. Um, it's tough, because if he gets under a platform and sets up, and sets up gunmen, it's rare, it's very hard getting to Duck Hunt. You need to be... be uh, not gonna lie, I kind of like the idea of the flat stage against Duck Hunt because it gives you uh, more of a chance to jump over things versus if he hides under certain platforms. But you, it's still, this can be very easily go Duck Hunt's way if you're not careful because flat stages can be very zoner heavy. You just have to, when fighting Duck Hunt, you have to find a move that can send the can at a low angle and get used to like kicking that can a decent amount right back at him because uh, can can work against him if you're not careful. If he's not careful. I do I do like the idea of, of power wave in this matchup a lot. Um, power dunk, gonna send him right back off stage. And you have to be Shield is gonna be very important in this matchup. But then you have to watch out because Duck Hunt is super good at grabbing. And Duck Hunt, here's the other thing though. Duck Hunt doesn't have many kill moves. Um, he has can, which can can kill. But other than that, Duck Hunt really likes to, you know, hit you with up air. He likes to, that up air is kind of strong. Um, but to, he has to find you in position to use the up air. And it's kind of easy to avoid it. So he can have a tough time killing at higher percents. 
Like, even that. Terry was at, like, 140 almost, and he still didn't die to that. Terry's at 165. Even Can mid-stage is not going to kill at 160. Oh, I didn't think he had a jump. <laughs> Don't know. And those are the positions you do want to put Duck Hunt in, is you want to make him land, because his mobility is not the most amazing ever. The problem with a character like Terry, though, is getting around Gunman. Because Gunman's going to be the big thing. Now, at this point, I would probably contest Duck Hunt a little bit offstage. Try and get to, if he's recovering high like that, do a reverse aerial rush to get, like, a back air. Really good side beat gonna secure the stock. Now let's see if Torero can snag one more in. Trying to get Can off stage. Back air. Get a little bit of damage in. I liked that aerial on sh and then um, I like that aerial on shield and then following up with more aggression on jab. Going for the tech situation completely. Not gonna catch the roll in. Uh, Perry is gonna get punished with jab. Yeah. Good shield and gunman. Oh, rolling into can. You gotta be so careful when rolling into can. Falling out of the up air. Oh, that's gonna see it. Yep. Yep. Spot dodge punish with the F smash. Putting post down to their last three. Dusan down to five. Two stock deficit now. Increasing a little bit. Now, if I was. Uh, see, I only have a perspective of playing this matchup from Banjo. Uh, as a as a banjo player, I know there's not many of us out there, but for me, it's a lot of the a lot of this matchup for me is blue egg, down tilt to get the can out of the way, throwing grenade once in a while at gunman to get get him out of the picture. Um, it's really a lot of blue egg, um, and really trying to contest with duck hunt very slowly over time. And I think banjo ha generally has the edge in that. Um, <laughs> everyone plays banjo. Yeah, I've, I've never seen such a lie ever. <laughs> and I, I know um, Lone Wolf has his ban has a banjo now. Um, but you need to... Duck Hunt is a very super niche matchup. It's... It's tough if you if you aren't familiar with it. It's... Because Duck Hunt's not, like, an amazing character. He's kind of generally considered mid-tier in this game. He has, like, a lot of projectiles, and he can build a, a wall decently. The, the primary... The primary issue is and this is it's kind of a matchup check if you're not familiar with it it can go it can snowball too hard super hard i really like this idea though i like the idea of sending a hero for this uh supersonic especially with bounce oh my god bounce negates so much of duck hunt's moves just go for bounce right after that oh are they gonna play it out I don't know if they're going to play it out. Yeah, they're going to see it. Yep. I got to do the taunts first. <laughs> Bounce from hero. <coughs> oh my God. This cop will not go away. Bounce from hero is going to be super important in this matchup. And I do think a lot of heroes, general projectiles outside of menu, are going to be really strong. Neutral B on its own? Oh my god. I think that will be such a lifesaver in this matchup. Just sending, like, small neutral B out once in a while. You don't even have to charge it. Just a small one once in a while to contest with a lot of these projectiles. Do super good. And plus, menu in general is going to be super quick um, and difficult for uh, Duck Hunt to contest against. And the fact that... Uh, Hero has his disjoint of sword. I, I think this would be a for general hero favorite. You don't you don't need to approach Duck Hunt really at in this matchup at all. Just kind of zone him out as much with mid range as you can. Oh my God! How, how did he low profile that? Yeah, you can't land on that. That thing will dwell. Really good F smash. Get bounce. Ooh, that's it. Yeah, that was awesome. Snooze is so good. Wow, sneaking that out super quick. Put a huge on down to four stocks. Accelerado. Oh my god, that's going to be so good to get around a lot of these projectiles. Oh no! Oh, I'm misspacing the F smash a decent bit there. 
I would menu this up until I got bounced. Seriously. See, neutral B is going to be so good in those situations. Critical hit. Oh my god, 61%. I would neutral B over and over. <laughs> Rolling around the uh, clay pigeon. Zoom. Ooh, really good F smash. Uh, oh. I was going to say, that could be a punish. Oh my god! <laughs> that shit, man! Charge again. Go. And that's it. Wow. Post down to two and Houston down to three. That was such a good idea. Hero. I don't even know what to say, to be honest. Hero clutching it out in so many ways. I, I do think Hero's projectiles are a lot more consistent and a lot more... Well, not consistent. Consistent, consistent is the wrong word because it's random, typically. But even just neutral B. Hero's neutral B as a tool, since you have full access to that at all times, is going to be generally more consistent than a lot of Duck Hunt's uh, projectiles, because they take Duck Hunt's projectiles take time. He Duck Hunt generally relies on building that wall and having you kind of approach and punishing those approaches based on what he kind of sets up. And Hero doesn't need to play by that rule, because he can just do neutral B, neutral B, neutral B, and for once in a while, menu, 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 menu. And then a lot of Duck Hunt's game plan kind of fizzles out and falls apart. Seems like a very strong matchup for Hero. Really good showing some coming out of Supersonic right now. I think Post is in a good spot right now. Sure, they're at a, they're at a deficit right now, but Hero as a character is pretty versatile. He can be fast when, you know, using the right buffs and whatnot. He can be strong, he can be strong. And I think, especially in, a, in this kind of matchup, I think he can do well against Incineroar. I assume we're gonna be going to um, Smashville or Hollow Bastion right now. No, Pokemon Seam, interesting. I think this is a really hero favorite right now. Um, all so all S Supersonic needs to do is kind of keep uh, Incineroar at a distance. Now, Incineroar has incredibly strong moves, but the top decking right there. <laughs> but Incineroar is this is mobility. It's really tough to get in on certain characters as, as Incineroar. Uh, that's not gonna be safe. You gotta you gotta space that stuff, especially against Incineroar. Not gonna catch that landing. Now I think I think Supersonic is playing this way too much of a like a brawler. I'd like to see more neutral B, more side B, a lot of things to punish Incineroar right now. Oh, now Incineroar can recover high like that. You have to be very careful uh, and pay attention to how it recovers. <laughs> Catching the landing with the F smash. Wow! <laughs> wow! See, that's how you pay attention. When Incineroar does those like cutting the early recoveries, it's very easy to kind of catch him out of it. Sealing ste another stock for post. Oh, that's... No, mistiming it! That could have been a kill right there, but mistiming it, the side B. Oh, that's not gonna kill. <clears throat> and at this, at this kind of mid-range, I would opt less for menu and do more, maybe more jumping side B. I'm uh, gonna catch that with fair. The dash attack gonna send Incineroar off. Jump is burned, but yeah, you can't menu there. If when Incineroar is that high, you cannot do menu, or else you need you need to react to him recovering high. Yeah, right now this Incineroar player is understanding. I just need to approach from the 45, and there's not much they can do while they're in menu. Incineroar the is playing it well from the high angle. So, yeah, I would like to see more side B, less reliance on menu at this point. Only use menu when Incineroar is clearly in disadvantage. Uh, up tilt. Gonna catch the landing with up smash. <clears throat> not much percent is gonna be left on hero. There's not a um, good down smash that's gonna send Incineroar back off stage. Another up B. Yeah, that's like been the fourth time that's happened. You have to shield those. Yeah. Trying to get the upwards kill. And that's gonna be it. Oh, mistiming. 
mistiming it, but there was a DI mix up there technically because you generally, I think you want to DI that out whenever that happens. Uh, but of course, you you generally want to DI in. You're expecting them to DI in. Uh, they're expecting you're expecting Incineroar to hit you off to the right, so you DI in, and that's kind of the mix up there. So good stuff coming out of Houston. Going to be one zero over post. And we're going to get the round reset. Nine to nine stocks. So I actually do think there was a lot of strong stuff coming out of post uh, in those matchups. I would say, I honestly, I don't think I would change a thing. You just need to tighten up little things about how you're playing. And that actually was not a bad series of matches right there. I would still send Kirby out first. I would send Saw out first. I think Kirby is a lighter character. Can deal a lot of damage when played on a flatter stage. I think that would be... Um, I think the lineup order is pr is pretty safe. Maybe change a character once in a while. Uh, especially if Bowser comes back out. I would actually opt for Kazuya against Bowser in those instances. Probably. I think Kazuya, if you switched out Terry for Kazuya, I think that might work a little bit de decently. You just need to be careful. I think, I don't know, it's tough to say. I think both characters can work against Bowser. Kazuya Mishima. I assume we're getting PS2 start. I should start doing polls on what people think the next uh, ring is going to be. So we're doing a little bit of a match to wait while uh, the arena goes. So it's me versus Denny right now. All right. I haven't played in a little while, so let's see. I'm a little, I might be a little rusty, but let's see. All right. Three, two, one, go! Okay. Alright, alright, all right. I see how it goes, Denny. Alright. Let's do this.
I DI'd that super bad. Oh, right. Oh, the upbeat. Okay. <laughs> I was really proud. Early earlier I did um, grenade and roll from ledge. I was actually pretty, a little proud of that. I haven't done that in a little while. <sighs> I don't know if they're ready now. I don't know if they need another match. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so now we're getting back into it. Enough fun now. This is the real stuff. But we're getting the run back with Kirby... Bowser. Now, I think Saw can do a decent amount to improve how he was playing. He did it well before, um, but he need, he, there are little things he can do. I like a lot of these fadebacks. Uh, I like a lot of these fadebacks, but they... Are, I would go for the shield break, go for the shield break, go for the shield break. That's, you, if you fall into fire, that might be a little tough. Mm -hmm. There's. Yeah, you need to get. <laughs> you do not want to be above Bowser as Kirby. You want the opposite. You want to get Bowser above you and juggle him. Ooh, that could have been a punish for that smash on the landing. Mm, that's not going to be good enough for a cross up. That can be punished. Really good grab. I probably would have gone for an F throw instead of up throw, but still, really good stuff. I think the up B is not a bad idea in this matchup too, but you need to be a little careful because Bowser can definitely punish that. Really good punish with the F smash. Hold on. Wait a second. Oh, that's going to be a stop though. Sorry about that. Uh, looks at, looking like this is all going a little differently for Saw this time. Saw with the lead right now. Really good conversion out of the down air into grab. Oh, jeez. Uh, a lot of these, I think you could punish these with down B. I think he's going to go for the down B right here. Yep, going for the punish. Mm, air dodge not going to be able to catch that. Uh... He's not going to be able to follow the up smash. Up be going to punish Flame Breath. Dash tech is not going to be strong enough to take that stock at that point. Another down B coming out of Saw. Going to intercept with Fair. Putting Saw one stock behind. This is going to be kind of be... Looks like it, looking like it might be now a repeat of the last match. Can Saw turn it around? Punishing the landing with dash tech. Going for the edge guard with Fair. Re acknowledging that Bowser's been recovering high and intercepting that with Fair. Really good stuff coming out of Saw. Putting this lead even again. Going 
for grabs. I love these conversions out of down here. Sa is doing so much for these follow-ups. It's awesome. Oh, can he make it back? Yep, he can make it back. Ooh, air dodging into that up B. So unfortunate. Dash back. <laughs> Not able to punish the F smash. Good grab. Acknowledging that Bowser has been liking to hug shield for a decent amount. Ooh, catching. That, that's tough. If you landed on the up B, <laughs> that, that would be really tough. <clears throat> yeah, can't punish that that's safe when he spaces it like that. Ooh, the cross up. Not able to punish that. Oh, yeah, don't go in. This is looking really toasty, just like the last one. Down air? Wow, down air is going to be enough. Kirby is so light. That's crazy. So we have another repeat of the last round. Post down to six. And Hewson down to seven. <coughs> Both players are playing that so well. Now, I assume we're going to see Terry again. I think the smart move is Terry. I, I think Duck Hunt, knowing that there's a Duck Hunt on the team, I don't think you can afford to send him here at this point. I think you either send in Kazuya or you send in Terry and then hopefully and wait it out on Hero. Because against Duck Hunt, I, I don't think you, you risk sending in Hero at this point. So then it's a matter of can Terry snag this last stock or Kazuya? Can Torero snag this last stock off of Bowser? And again, I would probably bring Bowser to a flatter stage as much as you can. As flat of a stage as possible, really. If it can be bigger, even that's better. Just don't bring him to something like Kalos. That's like the one exception because Kalos... You take a risk. Like, you have flat stage, but then Kalos is like... Oh, jeez, those platforms on the side are... Prime real estate for Bowser side B. And we're seeing the Terry again. <clears throat> so I think if Torero can kind of stay a little bit more grounded, I think that might help. Because you don't want to land on Bowser's shield. You want to box him on that floor area. <coughs> and that's how you make it work. A lot more F-tilts on shield. Uh, I want to see him while under crack shoot, to be honest. Crack shoot is really cracked. Yeah, and that's where you're punished. I'm pretty sure Fair is unsafe on hit at low percents. Yeah. There's not enough knockback on it at low percents. It's good at later percents for those tech situations like you see there. Mid percent to late percent, it's really good for that. But at low percent, I don't think it's safe on, on hit, which is unfortunate. Following up the tech situation with F Smash, I love that actually. This looks like it might be Torero's uh, stock to take first. Just air, roll right through that side B. Uh, that could have been a platform drop. And with a punish, I think. You gotta be really careful. Be careful how you land here. Uh, F smash. Torero is having a little a tough time trying to find it. Ooh, that could have been so tough. There. Late hit of down air. There's the crack shoot. Trying to intercept the landing with, with power down. Oh no, Terry's off stage. This is tough. And are we gonna see Power Gazer? I think Power Gazer might be the one to take it. I would not be fishing for a lot of these though. I would probably just go for your regular moves up until this point. Power Gazer. <laughs> That's when you use Power Gazer. You let it rip when he's on platform like that. Ooh. Yeah, Saibi's going to take it. Evening up. Really good stuff coming out of Carrera, Carrera, Torero. Evening it up 6-6. Six to six. 
keeping it nice and tight. I do want to see a little bit more patience coming out of Torero. I think Torero can afford to just kind of stand a bit more sometimes uh, and let the neutral reset. Uh, I would also like to see a lot more platform, like falling through platform a bit more instead of jumping off of platform. Mixing up how you get off platform is very important in this game, considering how sticky platforms are. Because when you're on a platform, you have a certain amount of landing lag. Then in, you, when you jump, you have a certain amount of you have frames where you're in a jump squat. Uh, and then dropping through platform can be tricky too. So you really need to constantly make up how, mix up how you get off your platforms. Now, the issue here is, um, will they do a counter pick against Terry? Because I do think Terry might have a tough time at lower uh, on, like, ledges. So if we see something like uh, Yoshi Story, it might be a bit tougher for, him for, like, recoveries and whatnot. But we're getting the flat stage, which I do think this is a good choice for Terry still. <laughs> Ooh, but you need to make sure if you're going to jab like that, you are going to take out the This is so tough for Terry to land. Ooh, turning around. Wrong way with the up tilt. Up throw, going to up air. Oh, that could have been a punish with grab or something. Yeah, it's gonna get back. It's gonna get caught. Yeah, this is just, it's just unfortunate. It's so tough to get around some of this stuff. Grab. So, on a lot of this stuff, you need to get Duck Hunt in the air and catch a lot of his landings because Duck Hunt likes to be on the ground and like away from you. So, if you can get below him, it's a lot tougher because he doesn't have any projectiles that can really interfere with you, and his aerial game's not the greatest. Duck Hunt at 105. Terry at 33. Power dunk, not going to be enough. Kind of stale at this point. And Can is primed for anti-airs. I would like to see uh, Torero interact with the Can a little bit more. Kick it right back at Duck Hunt. Yeah, you gotta you gotta hold that shield a little longer than you think against the discus. You gotta be super careful. Oh my god! I didn't think the up smash could catch that far. And is gonna intercept Terry off stage. Oh my Clay Pigeon prevented him from grabbing ledge. That is super unfortunate, dude. Yeah, you can't jump over that right after. You need to either run under it. Or back away. Good F tilt. Oh, he can't get back from that. He, he SD'd. Wow! Torero turning it around right near the end. Jeez, that was such an early stock. Can Torero speak that again? Catch a landing. Oh, gonna land with an aerial. Let's get back on stage. I would F tilt that can. Or power wave it. Power wave it. I think the can is a good option too. Attack. Power Wave would do this. I would like to see a lot more Power Wave coming out of Torero right now. Turning this around. Oh my god, this is Torero stock to take. Will he reverse three stock? Oh, Gunman. Oh, jumping right into Can. Oh no, you have to be super careful. Good shield. Oh my god, catching the landing, and Torero takes it. 
Wow! <laughs> oh my god, Torero turned that around so well. Post down to four stocks left, and Houston down to their last three. Wow! Are we gonna get the reset? Wow! Turning it around, reverse three stock. That's so nuts. Oh my god. Wow. So now I assume we're going to be seeing Incineroar, which I think that's relatively even. Terry likes to get try and get in on Incineroar, so Incineroar has a decent amount of, you know, <coughs> time in that matchup. <laughs> if you be boxing, you be boxing. I think that's a decent matchup for Incineroar. So you have to be careful. I probably wouldn't, if I was Terry, I probably not would not take Incineroar to a flat stage just because of side B. Uh, probably as many platforms as possible, to be honest. So you have plenty of opportunity to land. Just don't get... You just, the, the one thing is just don't do not get caught on a platform for too long because you get side B pretty easily. Use the platforms as your opportunity for movement, but don't use them as like a turtle shell. Like Don't use them as defense because that's when Incineroar will really mess you up. But I think this is also very good. Taking out the Duck Hunt at this point was, is, I think, a very good situation for Post because now they have opportunity. Because you, they were kind of using Hero as, like, the counter for Duck Hunt when that came up. But they don't need it anymore. Terrero took took care of that. Terrero was like, nah, counter picks, nah. I got you. I got you. <laughs> uh, I will say FD was going to be a little tough against Incineroar, I would say. And so we're going to just kind of side B all of your landings. Oh, you have to jab, jab, power dunk. Oh, that could have been a punish with side B, I think. Ooh. Grab with fair. Uh, jump with burn. Jab, jab, side B. Burn knuckle. Ooh, the late hit of up B is going to get the damage in. Side B. Smash. Cross up on shield. Not going to be able to get punish that. Uh, Terry's off stage though. But jump is burned. Oh, I don't know if Terry came back from this. Oh, good up B. Good up B to contest. Wow! Catching the aerial. Oh my god. Post down to. Post still at four. He's saw him down to the last two. Go meters online too. Right now, Incineroar really needs to take this stock, or else this is Terry's damage rack up. Yeah, that's back throw. It. Ooh, good DI. Not enough to kill yet. Oh, jab, jab. Buster Wolf is gonna deal so much damage. Uh, good DI on the up throw. Another power dunk. Another Buster Wolf. I actually really like that that power dunk to get out of that situation. Oh, catching the shield drop for Buster Wolf. Power Gazer. I want to see Power Gazer. That's not going to kill. Fair going to throw him right back off stage. Power Gazer. Ah, oh, that's so oh, unfortunate. That was that was Torero's stock to take. That's crazy. But post down to their last three stocks and Houston down to two. Torero did really good. Jeez. Turning it so far around against Duck Hunt. Good showing from Torero. So for these stage picks, Incineroar is going to really like smaller stages because he's not a very mobile character. He likes things like Hollow Bastion. He likes things like Smashville. Um, he'll prefer small battlefield over a lot of other things. Um, everything else 
And he might like FD once in a while, depending on what character he fights on FD. I think Terry's a good character uh, to fight on FD as Incineroar. But as long as you don't bring him to Smashville or Hollow Bastion, you are looking good, I would say. That's what I would say. Especially if you're playing Hero. I think Hero can do pretty well in this matchup. You just need to play it a lot more horizontally, because that's where Incineroar is going to struggle with a lot of those approaches. If he's in that 45 degree angle that Hero um, can't throw something at, if he, then you need to throw a bit more like Nair or Fair. Those are the things that Hero can do to contest that 45 degree angle. You don't want to commit to menu so hard. You want to commit to menu when you have the distance, or Incineroar is completely in disadvantage, and there's no way he can get above you. And even if Incineroar does get above you, hit him with something else. Hit him with up. Hit him with Nair. Hit him with Fair. Whatever you can do to contest his approach. <laughs> We're getting K. Roll. Now, K. Roll does have some advantages in this matchup just because he has Crown, he has Blunderbuss, but Incineroar in this matchup does have the mobility advantage, surprisingly Three, enough. Two, Which is weird one, to say because neither of these characters are incredibly mobile. And we're on a flat stage. Um, I think this could be interest this could be difficult for K. Rool in some instances but K. Rool does want to play at a distance compared to Incineroar really good really good jump call with the with the nair that's the kind of stuff you do want to do against Incineroar uh, quickly oh you, yeah you you cannot afford to land on crown because you you when you land on crown you go into like a, a hit stun almost uh, we have K. Rool off stage 107 can you make it back from that good contesting with the fair. I want to see a lot more crown and blunderbuss. Oh, that's going to get parried. Oh, wow. Let's see what Lone Wolf can do. Nice, nice little recovery. Back air. Going to get thrown off stage. Down tilt. Really good down tilt. Really good down smash. Wow. I'm, I think, I'm pretty sure this is Lone Wolf right now. Really good stuff coming out of Lone Wolf. Revenge is online. Not going to get the timing correct on that. Good dash attack. Going to check her right back off. Intercepting the upbeat. Oh, that, that was a dare. Wow. If it was a dare, that would have been over. Coming a lot better. Down throw into fair. Gonna get that good percentage. F tilt. Gonna get the belly armor going. Back air. Now down throw into fair. Uh, a little early on that fair. Oh, going for the back air. Trying to get the sneaky DI check, I guess. And F smash. That's the weak hit. Not gonna take the stock. Yeah, and that's it. That's going to put Post now it's tied with Husan. We get the reset going. Really good. Wow. Good stuff coming out of Lone Wolf. I like the tilts. Using a lot more tilts. But now we're back to 9-9. Nine to nine. Post showing up. Look at him go. Post Orange showing up. So now we're back at the top of the lineup. ECAC, we got picked from the starter stages. Battlefield, Final Destination, Town and City, Pokemon Stadium 2, and Smashville. Now, bring in, bring, bring in Saw again. Saw has been a really good opener, I would say. There's just been some like little unfortunate things uh, uh, that Saw hasn't been able to clean out the last stock. But I think the, the, the damage buildup that Saw has off the start has been looking really nice. Saw has those Kirby combos going. I think Saw is still a really good pick for your opener. I really do. I, I don't think you need to switch that up too much. Go from light to heavy. Lighter characters first in the lineup. You generally don't want your lighter characters trying to be your anchor.
wish I had a little bit more tea in my throat. <clears throat> I don't know if they want another break. Five minute break, so we'll be playing. <laughs> We're gonna kick It's my turn to play. It's my turn to play. Do I have no challengers? I need someone to fight. Who plays Steve? Play Steve. Ab I don't know who plays Steve from Post. Tested. Oh my god. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, that didn't cancel, really. <laughs> Down I need to do more of this.
You catching me? Oh, I thought I felt right in that. Wow. Can't do that. I want to know who Steve that was. <clears throat> oh, it's Crimson. <laughs> that actually wasn't that bad of a Steve. Some of the combos were actually on. <laughs> the only thing was I would say build more wall. More two wall. There's not a lot Banjo can do against two wall. Banjo actually has a decent... Like, I think Banjo does decently against Steve, but specifically against two-wall. Banjo either needs to go over it or start hitting it with F-Tilt. Um, and then if one if the lower block is gone, he can run under it, which is fine. That's cool, but you risk getting punished if you run under one the raised block. There's give and take in that matchup. I don't know if uh, they're ready now. Indeed they are. <laughs> <clears throat> and we're getting the run back again. I love this matchup. I really like this starting matchup. Saw versus Bowser. I want Saw to take it now. <laughs> I assume PS2 again. Three, yep. Alright. I feel it in my bones. This is Saw's match to take now. Good shield. Ooh, good grab conversion from that. Wow. That's damage. Catching the jump. Keep going. Keep going. Yo, oh my god. That could have been it. That could have been it. Down B. Bowser at 80%. Wow. As Aaron put it at the at the invitational, the Bowser tax. Hmm. <coughs> Gosh, that gonna punish the landing. Good grab. I would have done back throw. Back throw. Back throw. You you want sometimes you just really need stage control, and back throw would have been good for that. Good contesting. Falling. Oh, falling out of the hit though. So unfortunate. I like these attempts at offstage interactions, but they're just falling out of these little hits once in a while. It's not gonna work out. Oh, that could have been a dash attack to get the, the kill going. Last hit of, of Bear. Uh, using Up Bear to sneak it out with the air dodge. Very smart coming out of Saw. Now, Saw doesn't need to approach at all at this point. Saw can now wait it out and get a lot of these punishes going. Oh, no, you, you can't jab like that. Good job running back. You do not want to deal with Bowser or Smash. There. Dash attack. Ooh, good spike. Getting the fair. Oh, uh, jump was used. He can't get back from that. Wow! Saw turning this around so hard. Look at him go. Wow. This is Saw's to take this time. Oh, that's going to take... Up till he's going to snag it out for Saw and Saw, though. Some more Kirby combos. Back throw. Back air, I mean. Nope. They're coming out. Good up tilt strings into up air. Good, good. 
size doing so much to cat punish these landings. I love the dashbacks. Saw's looking so strong right now. No cross up on the on the F smash. Ooh. Trying to really punish these air dodges. Good job jumping over that. Oh no. Up smash. Kirby's at that percent now. He he could lose a stock. Oh, up tilt. Ooh, good air dodge out. <laughs> mm. Oh, they're trying to punch it up tilt. Oh, the Roland didn't have enough invincibility. <laughs> oh my god, stocks are even now. If Saw is not careful, Bowser <laughs> can't sneak out. A tricky kill. <coughs> Kirby's light. Down B is going to take it, though. And Saw gets his first win on the Bowser. Oh, geez. Saw takes it. Putting Post down to their seven. But who's Hewson down to six? Putting Post for the lead in the first time at the start of a round. You can see the progression going little by little for all, for all of Post's players. It's super cool. Now, I assume... We're going to be getting Duck Hunt against Sa, I assume. If you're Kirby, uh, I feel like this is a super tough matchup for Kirby. Because Kirby likes flatter stages, but because he doesn't like to commit to jumps. I don't think you can do that against Duck Hunt, though. I think you need to jump against Duck Hunt. I think you do, like once in a while. Like, I think you need to have the ability to jump. <sighs> oh, I don't know. Where do you go as Kirby against Duck Hunt? I guess, I guess FT would still be your best bet, because I think you need to really try. And... Yeah, I think FT. I think you need to, even though FD in theory is really shitty for. So, sorry, my language. Really bad for Kirby against Duck Hunt because of the wall he can build. I think putting have the fact that Duck Hunt is also on the same plane as you and he can't commit to a platform puts it into better perspective for Kirby. I think you still need to let leave FD open and let Duck Hunt bring you there if you can. Otherwise, maybe Smashville, but I, I don't know. I don't think Smashville is the answer to that either. Um, Maybe try. I get if if you're gonna do platforms, you might as well just do tri plats. Like yes, Kirby, you might as well. If you're, you know, give yourself more opportunity to, for movement at the very least. If you are going to commit to jumps, it's either go, it's either go completely flat or go all the way to tri plat. What are we getting? Three, oh. One, go. Um. I think this is a Duck Hunt favor. Yeah. Because Duck Hunt can sit on those side platforms, and for Kirby to get in, that's super tough. Saw is going to have to do a lot of movement to get in on Duck Hunt. <coughs> a lot of verticality. <coughs> Ooh. Really good approach already. Going right underneath Can. Oh, Jab is not going to connect, though, through the roll. You just think Kirby cannot allow Duck Hunt to land. Kirby cannot allow Duck Hunt to land. You need to, you essentially need to smother him. Like, you, you can't, you can't, like, be out, off range now. Really good down B. Oh, good fade away. This is Saw's stock to take. Wow. Dare. Not able to get the conversion going, though. Really good jab for pressure. Uh, you, you, I, Kirby, right now, Saw needs to contest Can. Like, he needs to be... He, doesn't need, he, he can't be afraid to, like, throw out an attack on Can once in a while. Because Can is not going to hurt him if, it, if it, he hits it. See, but you can use it against... You can use it against Duck Hunt like that. Catching the landing with F-Smash. Saw is on a roll. Only 55%. This is not out of the realm of taking another stock. Wow. Not able to get the contesting with an anti-air. 
Nice dare. And to grab conversion. I love these. Saw is doing such a good job at keeping Duck on the level with him. Oh, that's looking tough. Can might take it in a little bit. Kirby is light. Catching the lack of tech. Dare. <gasps> oh, he risked it all. Oh, my God. Another conversion from Dare. He's so good at those. Catching it with the up smash. Not strong enough, though. Duck Hunt is a little heavier than that. Rolling, 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 rolling. Good roll. Good roll. Dash attack. Nope. F Smash is going to take another stock. Saw is on a roll. Can Saw do one more? 121. Kirby's looking toasty, but can he take another one? Mm. Wow. Dare to grab. Not able to get the grab. Wow. The spacing was a little off on that one. Yeah, the can is going to go back. Oh, Kirby. What is Kirby has can now. Oh my god. Can, this is so funny. I want to see Kirby can. I want to see, want to see Kirby. No! No! That's so unfortunate. He ran into the can. No! <laughs> you hate to see it. Wow, though. Post down to six. And Houston down to four. Wow. Two stock deficit. <coughs> In post favor. Wow. Saw putting in so much work. Now, I assume we're going to see Torero next. I assume. <coughs> now, if I'm to if I'm Torero, just bring out bring out the Terry again. You did so well the last time around. Turning it around like that. Just keeping the pressure up. Do FD again, too. Just do it. If he leaves FD open, pick it. Yeah. <coughs> Just do the FD. Out of all these stages... <coughs> Or Kalos. Kalos would be good too. comes Torero again. Now, Torero was able to get the reverse three stock last time. Now only having to do one stock. Ooh, I love the stage pick, too. We're going on Battlefield. Now, this might this stage actually might be a little bit more Duck Hunt favor because he can kind of set up Gunman underneath one of the platforms and, and wait it out. But let's see how Torero deals with that. <laughs> he doesn't care. He goes right in swinging. Nice. Power down. Right now, Duck Hunt has to approach high at 95% already. This is looking like Torero's stock to take again. 
Jumping right over Clay Pigeon. You know, you can't punish Crack Shoot. Though I will say, Can is super good at catching a lot of these jumps then when Terry does decide to jump in on. 122. Can Torero solidify the stock. Oh, jumping into Can again. <clears throat> oh, not going for the power dunk. Uh, that could have been a kill with Jab Jab Up B. Dash Tack is going to take it though, yep. And that's going to put Hewson down to their last three stocks. Okay. Arrow looking strong. Not letting Duck Hunt breathe. So now I assume, again, we're going to be seeing Incineroar. Uh, again, I don't think I would bring Incineroar to a flat stage if I was Terry. I don't. I think I would ban that. Get as many platforms in. Just don't stay in one platform for too long, and you're looking and you're looking good. <clears throat> the more in shield you are, the better chance that Incineroar has of grabbing you. So against Incineroar, you want to be constantly moving. You want to be in as little of shield as you possibly can. Sure, there's going to be opportunities where you will need to shield against Incineroar. But the more you shield, the more likely it is for Incineroar to punish you for it. Shield in this game feels like such a strong option, but in reality it's not. And I fall into this trap too. I like shielding a lot. Uh, I'm trying to learn how to stop it. Shielding is kind of a bad habit in this game. Because generally you can. there's a lot of situations where you're better off just moving instead of shielding. We just like to shield a lot because we like out of shield options. We like the idea of being able to punish somebody for when they swing at our shield. But that's not guaranteed, depending on how good your opponent is. So, it, in general, shielding is better at, at a lower level, but at a higher level, it will get you punished. Like, you, you will... Like, if the more you're in shield, the more likely you are to get <clears throat> hit by command grabs on characters like Incineroar. Um... You know, Bowser and everything of that sort. Command grabs kind of really change this game a decent amount in like how you want, want to approach certain things. Hewson getting their final picks in. We are getting the Incineroar. So now post at their last six stocks. He's on down to their last three. three two, one, Much of what, in what this Incineroar brain needs to do needs to be perfect. Now I do think this is a really good Incineroar stage because that middle platform, if um, you can get if you can get Terry up on that middle platform, it's prime real estate to Get side beat going. But I do think that I, this is probably an even stage for both characters, to be honest. Nice shield, but not able to get the punish because that's going to cross up. And center at 147. Wow, catching the neutral get up and that jump with side B. And his a little bit. Getting able to land on the ground though. Spacing out with down tilt into fair. Jab, jab. No, going to the full jab and power down. Ooh. Revenge. Now, if Terry can get a grab on Incineroar, revenge goes away. Oh, he went for the grab. Fair's gonna do a decent amount of damage, just putting Terry right back off stage. Uh, 127. Go meter online. Buster Wolf going for power down. Feel like a mix up. Good shield. It's gonna put him at uh, ledge though. 
Oh, that's gonna get caught by side B. 143, going to intercept the landing with up air. Do the neutral air dodge right through that. Oh, more revenge. Oh, catching that with side B. 32, 47. Terry's in disadvantage. It's looking kind of, it's actually looking a little tough for Torero now. But Torero sneaks out the stock at only 47%. That was the important part. Getting rid of, getting rid of Incineroar's rage was super important in that situation. Because rage, as a mechanic, can get a lot of early kills. Oh, go meters online. Though Incineroar, it looks like he's going to even it up. Wow, I think that DI was a little suspect, to be honest. But now it's all evened up again. Oops. 39% on Incineroar. Jab, jab, power dunk. Power wave. Dash attack. He's gonna catch landing. Incineroar at 120%. This is looking, this is looking like Torero's game to take right now. 137. Side B is gonna put Terry right back in the disadvantage. And these are the situations where Incineroar can bring, you know, take you for a ride. Oh, saving him! Wow, saving Torero with that up B. I think... Oh, I don't even know. I don't even know. If I'm in Cinero, I don't even know. Ooh, SDI? Is he SDI out of that? That's a punish back throw. That's not even enough to kill. Terry, go meter online, 108. Cinero, 149. Oh, oh my god, almost rolling into the S-Smash. Jagger Power Dunk's not going to take it. Oh my god, it did take it. Wow, I thought he could DI that. But that puts Houston down to zero. And Post takes it with the reverse with the reverse three stock. Wow. Post down to four stocks. Houston down to zero. <laughs> and, and Post takes it 2-1. Really strong stuff from Post to, from Post Orange tonight. Really turning that match around. Just being able to brawl like that with a character like Incineroar. Is kind of scary. You don't really want to be in that situation typically with in, as Incineroar. But Torero doing an amazing job catching all those landings um, in, in, you know, in such a small stage. Just coming out and being super strong. Really good stuff coming out. Post in general tonight. Post really, like, turned it around super hard. They did amazing. Like, r props to everybody. So much improvement over, this, over the past week. Jeez. So, but also really good, really good outing from Houston tonight. They did, they played really strong. Some really n interesting matchups for Post to get used to. And yeah, everybody, everybody played great. But yeah, Post takes it 2-1 over Houston. Now, I've been Frisco. This has been Post Orange versus Houston University. Thank you guys for joining me tonight. Uh, tomorrow night, we do have... Uh, tomorrow night, we do have Post Orange versus, uh, po no, Post Purple versus, who? We have Post Purple versus Waynesburg tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, Post Purple versus Waynesburg. So, we hope to see you guys then. Three, Otherwise, I've been Frisco. One, you guys have go. a good night. Bye.